Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EzraAutomation.com and today in this we'll be talking about running multiple tests in parallel on multiple different machines with sharding using Playwright. So this is one of the most exciting feature of Playwright which is pretty much like how you can run multiple tests in Selenium Grid to run the test on many different nodes. That's exactly what this sharding will also be doing in Playwright and this is quite awesome. So what is this sharding? By default, Playwright runs tests in parallel and strives for optimal utilization of CPU cores on your machine. In order to achieve even greater parallelization, you can further scale Playwright's test execution by running tests on multiple machines simultaneously. And this mode of operation is called as sharding in Playwright. So we'll see how we can really achieve that. Well, the first set of configuration changes that we have to do in order to get the report out of the sharding is going to be the reporter that we got to be setting as blob. So this is the first change that we got to be doing. And once we have this reporter being set up, then we need to just run the test in the sharding mode as you can see over here. So you can see that there is the same command like npx playwright test. But only change here is that we're going to give the hyphen hyphen shard is equal to one slash four which means if you have got four different scenarios then all these scenarios are going to be running in four different machines instead of just running them in single machine so that is the power of sharding so it's going to take care of all these execution for you automatically and playwright will figure out how that you can run the test in multiple different machines that is what this is going to be doing i mean you can use the same command to run within your local machine as well and you can see how the test execution happens but because your tests are going to be running in the same machine you won't see any much difference in the performance but if you run the same in the pipeline you will see a noticeable amount of performance improvement well as that said in order to run the test in the parallel execution on any of the github actions pipeline as we discussed before with the github actions pipeline the only change that we got to be doing over here is this i mean we have to use the strategy of github action where we can just set the matrix and the shard where we can say that one slash four three slash four and four slash four so this is what is the shard thing that we are going to be defining and then we can use this shard within our test execution while we run the test in the pipeline. That is what we have to be doing. And I will show you the entire things while we discuss about this whole shard operation in the GitHub Actions YAML file. But for now, this is the crux of it. Well, as I said, once the whole execution is done with the GitHub Action, we have to merge the report because there are gonna be like multiple tests running in multiple different machines. We have to gather all the reports and merge them together so that we can generate a nice HTML report. That is what we'll be doing using this particular command as you're seeing over here. So we'll be seeing how all these operations are gonna be come together using the shard operation, using the sharding operation of Playwright in much, much easier fashion. So in order to perform the sharding operation, as I told you before, we have to set the configuration changes first so that we could be able to see how that we can execute the test and generate the report like a blob report as, as I was talking about. So we gotta go to the playwright.config.ts file and we need to set the blob over here. But before even I do this, the first thing which I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna go to the package.json file within our project. And as you can see that I have released the stuffs like three months before, and now I'm gonna go and change to the latest version. And the latest version today is 1.38. So probably the time while you watch this particular video, that might be a different version, but for now, this is the latest version, so I'm gonna go stick with this particular version over here. And you will see that all the packages that we have got are all upgraded to the latest and the greatest version of it. So I'm gonna use that over here. And once this is done, I'm gonna go open the terminal and I'm gonna do an npm install. And while that is happening, I'm also gonna go to the playwrightconfig.ts file over here. And you will notice that currently we only have the reporter for dot list HTML allure playwright but you can also set what is called as a blob. So I'm gonna go set the blob over here. That's it. So this is the new reporter that we're gonna be adding and this is what is gonna generate the blob reporter for us. Well, as that said, I'm gonna go over here in the command line and I'm gonna paste the command, which is gonna be the npx playwright test of hyphen hyphen shard is equal to one slash four and shard is equal to two slash four, three slash four and four slash four, which means it's gonna run four different machines for me, like theoretically, and then it is gonna 
run all of these workers within my machine and you can see that all my tests are currently executing in multiple different browsers over here this is pretty much like how we did even before but just that since we are running the test in one single machine you don't really see any performance gain really but the thing is that this is theoretically running in multiple different machine at the same time and that is what is happening over here so let's wait for the whole test execution to complete there we go and you can see that there is a test report being generated after the test execution so let me go to our vs code over here and you will see that we have got a blob report and there is this report 1.zip file and as you know that we only have one machine really and there is not like a lot of machines really running even though we run them like in shard of one two three four this report is just going to be one over there so guess what now i'm going to show you a bit of merge report even though there is like one report over here i'll also show you how the merge report is going to look like so in order to see how the reports can be merged if you're going to be running them in multiple different machines all you have to do is just like run this npx playwright and there is this new merge reporter option so you're gonna just do the merge reports and then you need to set the reporter as html and then you need to set the blob report so this is the blob report directive which i was talking about so let's go and hit that and you will notice that once i do it it is going to generate an HTML file for us over here. And once again, as I told you, there is just one machine. This report is pretty much exactly the same like how we just saw over there as well. So there is no difference between that. So yeah, that is generating and it is working as expected for us. So this is exactly what we are going to see, how we can run them in the GitHub Actions pipeline as well. So now that we have executed the code within our local machine and they're all working fine as expected, even using the shard functionality. And we saw how the reports are being generated. But now that um, we are going to go a bit further and we'll see how that we can run them in the GitHub Actions pipeline. But in order to execute that in the GitHub Action pipeline, first of all, we need to go ahead and change the GitHub Actions pipeline a bit so that we could adapt the shard functionalities over here. So in order to do that, I'm just going to go over here and you will notice that currently all our tests executes just on one of the Ubuntu latest image, which is this one, which is technically just one single machine. But now we're going to leverage the power of the GitHub's own sharding feature, which is the strategy feature, which will leverage the power of executing the test in multiple different machines. So in order to do that, we're just going to go over here and we're going to say, strategy something like this and within this particular strategy we're gonna set two things over here so we're gonna say like fail fast as false because we are gonna expect some of the failures so i'm gonna say false over here and then we need to specify the matrix over here so for the matrix i'm gonna specify the shard so which is gonna be shard and i'm gonna say one slash four and then two slash four and three slash four and four slash four something like that so i don't really require five slash four there cool so this is the first change that i have to make and once i do that this particular test which is this jobs are going to run in four different machines right now which is of ubuntu latest operating system right that is what is going to happen but we also need to tell the test like how we did within our execution like earlier execution in the terminal as you can see over here as the npx playwright test of hyphen hyphen shared is equal to two slash four something like that so how do we actually do that change well in order to do that i'm actually gonna go over here within our npx playwright test as you can see over here we have specified the playwright test running something like this like npx playwright test so instead of doing this we are gonna say npx playwright test of hyphen hyphen shard of the matrix dot shard something like this so this will actually run the test on multiple different machines that we have specified something like this so yeah that is the next change that we have to make as well so once this is all there over here we also need to upload the blob report that we have so this is a new one we have not uploaded if you remember earlier we uploaded the artifact for the playwright report and also the playwright allure report but we have not really uploaded the blob report yet so we also need to upload that part so that is another change that we have to do so i'm going to go and paste that and the name is going to be the blob port and i'm going to say the path is also going to be 
the blob report, which is this one, and the retention period, maybe yeah, 30 days or even one day, that doesn't matter. Uh, so I'm gonna save that over here because we also need to merge the report anyways. So how do we actually merge the report? Well, not to merge the report, even in the documentation of the playwright, they have given a very, very nice little detail like how you can do it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy paste that over here. So we need to spin up another job called as merge report, as you can see over here. And this merge report should be exactly the same as the test that you are seeing over here with the same intendation, just that it has to be like a dependent job instead of like an independent job because this job has a name of test so this merge report should be dependent of the test itself so we need to say the needs of test over here so this is again a github actions thing that we need to understand so that it always will have that dependency so that is what we are doing over here so once we do that the rest of things remains the same but i guess there is one more change as you can see the path is going to be the blob all blob reports i think the name that we have given is a blob report we also need to update that to blob report over here so i mean the name can be anything but just that the path has to be blob report there we just have to be very careful about it and i'm also going to specify the blob report over here i'm also going to change the blob report just in case and i'm just going to leave the rest of things as it is so that is it so this is the last change that we have to make in the GitHub Actions workflow file. I'm sure that there are so many changes that we have did. I mean, I'm gonna recollect it once again. The first change that we made is the strategy and we also set the matrix over here. And then we also change the test. This is gonna use the test of hyphen hyphen shared of the matrix that we have specified over here. And then we uploaded the blob file because that is the blob report that we need to use for our merging of the report. So that is what we are doing over here. And finally, we also have a merge report job, which is a dependent job of the test job that you are seeing over here. And that is something we can do using the needs of test. And that's it. That is gonna do this magic for us over here. And you will notice that we change the path to the blob report and we are uploading that to the blob report as well i think we are pretty good to go with all these changes i think all these things looks pretty good to me so i'm gonna save them and i'm gonna go to the github desktop over here and i'm gonna say added support for sharding and i'm going to add the description i'm gonna commit this to main and i'm gonna push this to origin so once we have pushed all the changes we know what to do we also need to go to our github actions pipeline uh, which is going to be on the github.com slash execute automation and let's go to the repository and there is this playwright ci cd 2023 so this is the actual repository and now we're going to go to our github action to see if our pipelines is being triggered so you can see that we have our pipeline being triggered the added support for sharding and if I go over here, you will see that this time we have a matrix with the test job being executed. And we also have a merge report job. And you'll notice that the merge report job is currently not being executed because it is a dependent job of this particular test job. And if I just open this job over here, you'll notice that we have four different instances of the operations currently running in this particular job, which means it is running in four different Ubuntu machines same time in parallel. So if I go open one of the test over here, you'll notice that this is the setup job and there is gonna be a install dependencies job and there is an install playwright browser job is currently running and they're all gonna execute all the tests in the shrouded fashion. So that is very, very interesting. So this is unlike our local machine where we just executed like one test in one single machine. Now they are running in shrouded mode as like one of four as you can see over here and they are running pretty awesome over here so yeah there we go i think there is some issue really going on over here looks like the headless is set to true and the xvfb is not being set over here and that is something has to be resolved but right now you will notice that the test executions are currently happening for us without any problem over here and while that is really happening, I'll also see that this test is going to fail even further over here. And I think I know what is the reason because you see that these are all running in the headful mode rather the headless mode and it requires an X server 
uh, to be up and running as well. So in order to resolve this particular problem while this is happening, I'm going to go and quickly in the VS Code, if I get, just go to the node.js.yaml file over here, you'll notice that our test execution is currently happening within the test, as you can see over here straight away. Rather doing this fashion, we can run the test in the co-action and set up the XVFB, which is this way. And this way you can see that it is going to run with the XVFB along with the shard feature as well. So this way it is going to make your life much, much easier because even though you run in the head full mode, like how we are doing at the moment, the tests are going to pass. So I guess we have already discussed about it. So I'm going to just go ahead and save it. And I'm going to go to the GitHub repository over here, added XVFB support. I'm going to commit to main and I'm going to push to origin once again. And if I go back to our GitHub repository once again, to the GitHub action, you see that the test is fully failed, but still the merge report has executed there. And guess what? We also have an blob report this time. So we could already see that the blob report is coming up. The HTML report attempt is also coming up, but just that even if you open this, this test is all going to be failed. So I, there is no point really looking at this particular report. Rather, let's just wait for the other pipeline to really pass because this time we have the XVFB support. And we will see over here if the tests are really going to work as expected. And look like the XVFB is installed. And now it is also running the test in the shard mode as you can see over here and this time the tests are actually passing as you can see and because these tests are currently running in the parallel execution this time let's go to other tests you will notice that the other machines will be running a different set of tests rather the same test that is running in the test 1 slash 4 because that machine is using a different shard altogether there we go so now if i go to the github action and if i go to the xvfp you'll see that uh, the merge report is currently running over here and this is going to do another job execution like all the setups are going to happen over here so it is going to download the whole blob report for us it's going to merge the html report and then it is going to upload that html report for us which is awesome so it's going to do all those things for me over here cool and let's go back to our github action and you see that we have a blob report so if i just open this particular blob report you will see the exact same file that we just saw within our local machine but just that this time it is going to have the report from four different machine rather just like one machine as we saw before so you see that this particular report has got four different html zip file over here and that is all come in because of our blob reporter that we have set as four of them so what i usually do with this kind of report is that i just go to our uh, hyper over here uh, and i'm just gonna do an merge report something like this and i just go to the download something like this and if i just do a blob report and if i hit enter you will see that it's all going to be merged and that is going to generate and complete full report for me over here so it is going to show for the chrome firefox webkit mobile chrome and things of that nature so everything is going to be coming up for me over here so these are all running in multiple different machines and every single things are going to be generated for us over here which is cool so it is already working right like this is how we could able to see that the sharding feature of playwright can be leveraged with the power of github actions and also we can get the complete report out from here and this looks quite awesome so this is an additional feature that we can use within our github action execution with sharding for the parallel execution in multiple different machines